In every country, there is positive and negative. Anytime I show you the positive part of Africa, some of you are just trying to tell me that, oh, it's just a small part. I'm in Kigali, the cleanest city in Africa, the most organized city in Africa, the safest city in Africa. What else should I tell you? You know what? I'm just in the car. This car is not mine, though. But um, thanks to uh, Nick's father for giving me this car to take me around. I just want to show you guys, like, I'm just gonna show you we're just in the street of Kigali right the camera is gonna show you guys how clean this place is later I'm gonna get down to show you that even in Kigali we walk on pavement just no you know what show them the street of Kigali man just the street nothing else man you see the pavement on that side you see everything here is organized man I'm not bragging the camera can testify what I'm saying guy across the road man he's trying to tell me that what you're saying is true it's not true bro <laughs> see this is beautiful man you got dustbins everywhere in the city you guys see it it's a dustbin see buses bus 201 all these buses have wi-fi man all these buses have wi-fi Oh my goodness, this is a roundabout, man. This is the city center. Yeah. The city center. Just just, just enjoy, man. Just enjoy, like, the street of Kigali. <coughs> he said, i show you just small parts. Is this small parts? Oh, the entire city. This is the entire city, not just small part. If you don't know, just keep quiet. See, another... That's been right there. This is one of the reasons why this country is the cleanest city in Africa. See? Oh, oh what a view, man. What a view. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, it's really well organized. Wow. And it's very hilly. You know, this country is known as a thousand hills. So, Kigali is very hilly. That's why you see all that. And um, another source of transportation is the motai. Yeah, and it's very safe. You see, both the rider and the passenger has a helmet. You see? So this is where we have the car-free zone. See, we have the car-free zone over there, which means that no car pass there. Oh, no, yeah, no car pass there. See, that side, the car-free zone, no car pass there. And um, yeah, this is the city center of Kigali. So it's not like I always show you the small part. It's just that you don't see this part of Africa on TV. So anytime I show you this, you get amazed. You'll be like, ah, oh, stop lying to us. I won't lie to you. I'm the one holding the camera and I'm the same person talking. So where is the lie? Just let me know in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not cut anything out of this video. Wow. You know, that's a beautiful gorilla statue and the car has to wait for the people to pass by. That's another thing about Kigali. That's another thing about Kigali. See the people walking? using the pavement walk oh my goodness see there look at that place man look at that place and um that uh, beautiful gorilla they got gorillas in here and it costs a lot of money to see them like almost thousand five hundred dollars everything in kigali is expensive man and then that is the new park you can go there, sit down there, do whatever you want to do, but um, it also has a free Wi-Fi. And this is a new bank in Kigali to be opened very soon. By the time I come back, this bank will be ready. See, they are cleaning the street. That's why Kigali is a cleaner city. Oh my goodness, man. I'm in love with this country. Morakose. Morakose, Rwanda. Morakose. I... I I wish my distance is on point, man. Oh, and they got beautiful women too here. I need to show you that. I'm sorry. They got beautiful women. See, beautiful women. Oh, damn it. I'm not cutting anything out of this video. You see? This is the street of Kigali. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What else should I show you? You see, they've planted trees everywhere in the country. So this city is really like greenish. It's very greenish and also very clean. 
let me know what you think about Kigali, man. Like, it's really pretty. I wish I can take you to so many places. This is just a simple video I want to show you. This is the Kigali that you'll never see on TV. And I'm here to do that job for you. Wow. That's pretty, man. This is the city. You always said I'll show you just a little part. And that's, um, that's a Mara Hotel in Kigali. Okay. What else do you want to see? Oh, the flag is waving. Wave your flag. <laughs> yeah. So, the last time that I came here, this country was not this part, but I think construction is going on every single day. So, if you don't come here in the next three months, by the time you come back, everything has changed. Yeah, so this is my destination. I'm going for a meeting at Serena Hotel. So, uh, this is just a simple video I wanted you guys to see. Have a feel of how clean, beautiful, organized, safe this country is. Shout out to Your Excellency for Kagame. A leader with vision. I can't wait to see you one day. You know, I, I need to have one-on-one -on -one meeting with you, man. We gotta talk, bro. You know, you're, you're my brother, you know. That's how this... <laughs> So, you know what? I'm done with my meeting. So, I gotta continue showing you in the street of Kigali. We've been here before, yeah? Yeah, we already passed this place, but this is the other way around. So, you see, this is Kigali, man. There are street lights everywhere, which makes the city look more beautiful. At night, I think I need to do night life. Not just night life, Kigali at night, maybe. Because me, I don't like night life videos, you know, go to club and the rest. But um, I can do Kigali at night. And you see the cars that people drive in here, and you still call us poor people. Really? See the cars? This is not Europe. This is Africa. See the zebra crossing. People obey the rules. See the security man right there. See, this is just the streets, man. This is the street of Kigali. Everyone wearing helmets. Yeah, you gotta abide by the law in this country. The law works in this country. And um, yeah, things are really moving, man. It's time to get my Rwandese passport. Come build my mansion and then live here forever. I'm just in so much in love with this country. And um, anytime I get to this country, I cry. You know, right now I'm even crying, but I just want you guys to, I don't want you guys to see me crying. <laughs> the beauty of Rwanda makes me cry. The development of this country makes me feel like every country in Africa can do it. Because Rwanda doesn't even have resources, but what they've done is really impressive. And I hope and believe that after seeing this video, you're gonna change your mind. If you know you're corrupt, change your mind. Change your attitude and think about your people and your country. Have passion for the country and Believe me, your country will grow. See the security man over there? It's not security, it's police. Just to protect the city and the people. This is one of the reasons why I feel safe being in this country. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. 
Don't think that I'm talking too much about this country. No country is perfect. No president on earth is perfect. And what Rwandese have done, I will always salute this country. Anywhere, everywhere I am. And I'm so hungry, so enough of the talking. I need to go find food to eat. I'll see you all in the next episode. I am Maya. See, peace out. I can't even say pizza, pizza, wow, wow, wow. Just type wow in the comment section. Oh, oh, oh. I can't live without you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I can't breathe without your love.